Return on Invested Capital Return on Invested Capital is a ratio comprised of multiple elements. It's a profitability or performance ratio. It measures the percentage return that investors in the company are earning from their invested capital. Investors in this case refers to both bondholders and shareholders. Finally, it shows how efficiently a company is using its investors' funds to generate income. Let's look at the formula for calculating return on invested capital. Let's look at the formula for calculating return on invested capital. The formula for return on invested capital is net operating profit after tax divided by invested capital. Net operating profit after tax is defined as EBIT times 1 minus the tax rate. Invested capital is defined as the total amount of assets a company requires to run its business, or the amount of financing from creditors and shareholders. We can derive some additional meaning from the return on invested capital ratio by comparing it to the weighted average cost of capital of the same company. If the return on invested capital is more than 2% higher than the WAC, the company is a value creator and will probably trade at a premium. It signals that excess returns may be reinvested to support future growth. However, if ROIC is less than 2% greater than the WAC, the company is seen as a value destroyer and will usually trade at a discount. It signals that the company has limited growth opportunity. Let's clarify how to calculate the return on invested capital of a company. As we mentioned earlier, return on invested capital can be calculated using the following formula. Operating income at time t times 1 minus the tax rate divided by the book value of invested capital at time t minus 1. There are a few important things here to note. First is that the numerator of the formula is the exact same thing as net operating profit after tax. However, keep in mind that the numerator is measured at time t. Meanwhile, the denominator is measured at time t minus 1. Next, we should clarify what book value of invested capital actually is. For firms with minority holdings and companies that are considered non-operating assets, this would be fixed assets plus working capital. For firms with long-term liabilities that are not considered debt, that would be fixed assets plus current assets minus current liabilities minus cash. We can also use return on invested capital to determine a company's competitive advantage. A company has a competitive advantage when it can supply goods or services at a lower price than others. This is considered a consumption advantage. Alternatively, it is considered a production advantage if a company can supply products or services that are hard to copy. By expanding the ROIC formula, we can analyze the firm's competitive advantage. You'll notice that net operating profit after tax divided by sales is a margin ratio, and sales divided by invested capital is a turnover ratio. When a firm has a high return on invested capital, Due to a high net operating profit after tax margin, it has a consumption competitive advantage. Alternatively, when its return on invested capital is mainly due to the invested capital turnover, it has a production competitive advantage. We hope you learned something new from this return on invested capital video.